Hello, and welcome to Ready API. This video will explain how to transfer data between responses and requests in your tests. It's very common that you'd need to pass data between test steps in your tests. For example, when you add an object to a database, the server usually returns an object identifier of some kind, so you can retrieve the information about this object later and update it if needed. Let's see how we can emulate this behavior in Ready API. We've already created and prepared the project based on the Swagger Pet Store API. It contains a test case with two requests. The first one appends information on a pet to the database, while the other gets data using the pet's ID. Let's open the first request of our project, the add pet post request. In the body, it contains the JSON object which describes the pet we want to add. Let's send the request. The response we've just received contains the ID that the service has assigned to the newly added pet. In our second request, the get request, we want to use the pet ID as the parameter. We can retrieve it from the response to the previous request. Let's do this by selecting the get data command from the context menu. In this dialog, we are selecting the needed test step and its property. In our case, these are the add pet test step and the response property. Since our response contains a JSON object, the Select JSON dialog box appears. We need the pet ID. The expression that has just appeared in the value column is called the property expansion. It starts with a dollar sign and contains the path to the source property within the current test case. You can use property expansions throughout Ready API to refer to needed properties. Let's run the request now. That's it. The response contains information about the pet, so it seems everything works properly. From now on, every time you run the whole test case, the GET request will use the effective pet ID you received from a response to the first POST request. So you may wonder which properties you can call with property expansions. So let's take a quick look. To the bottom left, there's a REST Request Properties tab. These properties serve as configurations for the current request. The Custom Properties tab stores user-defined values. Every project item, a test step, case, suite, even the project itself has its own set of custom properties. Additionally, in Ready API Preferences, you can create global properties, which you can refer to anywhere in Ready API, even in Secure Pro or Service V Pro. With property expansions, you can create shortcuts to any of these properties and transfer information between test steps, responses, and requests. SOAP UI Pro also offers an alternative to property expansions, the property transfer test step that is specifically tailored to passing data between test steps. Let's add it to our test case. You can use this step to create multiple assignments. To see how it works, let us add one transfer. On editor's top, you can specify the source property. Select JSON path as the path language. For XML data, you can also use XPath or XQuery expressions. Since we have already launched the request and the response already contains JSON data, the button to the right is clickable. We need to get the pet ID. On the target panel, specify the target location. Note that the location of the property transfer step within the test case is important. Only the preceding test steps can serve as a source, while the following test steps in that case will be potential targets. That's it. Time to run the transfer. Looks like it worked properly. You can see the new value in the properties of the get request. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please take advantage of our documentation, videos, and online community at smartbear.com/support.